Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you such a special friend mail that I got from Summer Michelle. Summer, Summer Michelle, if you're watching me, I'm sure you most certainly know who she is. She is just such a good person, such a good friend. She is so enjoyable to watch. And over the last several months, her and I have just gotten close. We, oh, She always makes me laugh when we're chatting back and forth. We have grown to have such similar scent preferences in many regards, aside from apparently Scentsy. But we, I'm just always cracking up whenever I talk with her. She's just so much fun. She's such a good friend. And I came home from a long day yesterday and had this package waiting for me. And I was like, I didn't order anything from Scentsy. Like, did I place an order and not even know that I placed an order from Scentsy? Like because honestly we all know how it is with wax like you just things will show up and you don't even remember you know buying it or if it shipped or whatever and then I saw the the label on it was from summer and I was like are you kidding me like guys this is a huge box this is bigger than my head this is like ginormous and it's heavy so I just ripped open the seal now by the time I got home last night I was just exhausted it was a long day we went into the city and saw the tree at Rockefeller Center we saw the Rockette show and by the time I got home from you know the commuting and things it was just a long day and I was like I want to be able to sit down tomorrow today and film it and just be able to enjoy it all and put my first and reactions and initial impressions on camera just to capture the excitement of it but Summer I know I texted you <laughs> saying thank you a million times but seriously you did not have to do this. Like, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> but I'm so excited to see what's in here. So, I did see um, on the top here there is a card, which I did read last night. Um, so, Summer, this was so sweet. Thank you so much. And we'll just start grabbing and pulling. So, the first thing I see here is from Second and Spruce. This is Elves in the Break Room, Peppermint Mocha Hints of Holiday Treats. I love Second and Spruce. Me, Summer, and a couple of us that are, are in like our little wax group chat. We all love Second and Spruce and just go crazy whenever she opens. But this is something I didn't get my hands on. Ooh, this is good. This is like a really, really nice peppermint hot chocolate scent. The, you could smell like the mint chocolate in here. Like mint chocolate, milk chocolate. Like those hot chocolate packs that have the mini marshmallows in them. This is exactly the kind of hot chocolate that I'm getting from here. And it's a beautiful crisp peppermint. Oh, this is really good. That chocolate is amazing. This is, oh my God, I always love her labels on here with the little elves. How cute is that? Oh my God. I'm gonna say thank you a million times, Summer, but <laughs> seriously, thank you so much. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> the next thing I have here, I'm laughing because this is one of the bring back my bars from Scentsy. And I think me and the other Stephanie, Steph Melts, are like the only people in our group that actually, our little group chat, that actually enjoy this scent. And this is everything nice. And <laughs> I know Martha couldn't stand this scent. Summer couldn't stand it. There's like a bunch of them in the group that can't stand it. Alexis can't stand it. And I'm like one of the only people that truly enjoy it. Like I melted it earlier in the week and I was texting them I was like oh my god like this is so good and they all were like you are insane like I cannot and Summer always <laughs> messes with me and says this smells like like pumpkin baby food or pumpkin guts and just <laughs> but I like it I mean you get you definitely get like a rich butteriness you get like a a pumpkin souffle you get pecan you get caramel caramel I don't know why I say it both ways but this is just so good to me. This is one that I'm definitely going to put in my club. So everyone was joking around. They're like, I'm going to send you my bar because you're one of the only ones that like it. So this is everything nice. And I laughed when I saw it last night when I picked out the card and read it. And I saw this was on top. I, it made me laugh. So thank you, Summer. I have another one here from Scentsy. This is Jules Pomegranate. So this is just like, a beautiful juicy pomegranate scent but you also do get like the slightest hint of like a spice like a spiced berry with the pomegranate 
it's really pretty. I like this one. So if you're a pomegranate fan, this is definitely, I don't think this isn't available anymore, but I know it's been available in like flash sales and stuff. So this is a beautiful pomegranate juicy scent. I have a couple of bars of this that I recently hauled and realized I really liked it. So this is so good. Can't wait to melt this. Another thing we have here is Rainbow Melts Fluff and Fold. So this is Fabric Sheets, Snuggle and Downy. I've never seen these shapes from Rainbow Melts. So like almost look like little pretzel rods. Those are cute. Rainbow Melts performs really well for me. I know I've mentioned this in a past video, so I don't want to make this video negative in any way. I just don't support the way she runs her business. Um, so I just chose, I've chose to not continue to buy from her. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like legit like fabric softener or those dryer sheets that you put in with your laundry. This is pretty. It's pretty strong, but it's a beautiful, almost like a powdery laundry type scent. So this is pretty. I like to melt this sort of stuff in the bathroom, in the bedroom, or a day that I'm like deep cleaning. I'm one of the few and far between that really enjoy laundry. So thank you, Summer. Another second in spruce I have here is Mrs. Claus's Kiss. So this is Mallow Cream, Winter Breeze, Hot Cocoa, and Pink Sugar. How cute is Miss Claus on there? Like, are you kidding me with her little glasses and everything? And her little apron? That is, she has like the cutest labels ever. Second in spruce, Erica. She's just so creative. Oh my God, and it's literally a pair of lips. Stop. Are you kidding? How cute is that? Ooh, this is good. I like the hot cocoa with the pink sugar. So this is similar to me to Elves in the Break Room. It's that same hot cocoa. You get the mini marshmallows type scent, except for peppermint. This one has pink sugar. It does say winter breeze, but I don't pick any of that up. I'm just getting hot cocoa with like marshmallow and pink sugar. This is pretty. Yeah, I like this one a lot. And second in spruce, like powerhouse performer so if you're somebody who's sensitive to certain scents that you know she may pour just know to melt them sparingly but I have been really enjoying her wax next I have here ooh, a little skull and crossbones I want to say maybe this is like rose girls these look like her labels this is midnight lace bergamot lavender moss sandalwood and vanilla lace sounds like everything that I would enjoy oh this is gorgeous that sandal with the vanilla, that's pretty. And you definitely get lavender too. It's more of like a herbal lavender, but it's really creamed out nice with the sandalwood and the vanilla lace. And then you get almost like a, bergamot comes across to me like very minty fresh, almost like a cologne minty. And I'm definitely picking that up in here. This is pretty. It's gonna be super strong because it's like nose clearing in the bag. It's just beautiful. It's gonna be a nice bedroom melt. If any of you have melted any of these, let me know down below so I know what to expect. But so far, these are all, she knows me so well. We always tease each other and call each other our scent twins, like I said, aside from Scentsy. So she knows exactly everything that I would love. This is from Bodies Harmony, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Vanilla pine cones, roasted pine cones, and a dash of marshmallows. Oh my god, how cute is this with the little snowman, the Christmas tree? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Bodies Harmony is somebody that is no longer open. I have heard people talk about her, but I don't, you know, see anybody else haul her anymore. So I'm not sure if she's still open. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This reminds me right away of um, Second and Spruce's blend, the Roasty Toasty. It's like her um, roasted pine cones. And I want to say it's like marshmallow or something, which I love that scent. This is exactly what is this is giving me oh, this roasted pine cone is so good such a shame that she's not open anymore this is beautiful wow thank you oh my god I'm excited to melt this I'm excited to melt these all who am I kidding <laughs> I'm laughing here because here's another bring back my bar and simply patchouli again this is one that I would say like I think maybe I'm the only one out of our group that actually liked this one this is simply patchouli earthy lovers you may enjoy this but just know it's super super strong like super strong like this is gonna be one you need to melt in like every other warmer or like put half of a cube in your warmer 
because this is super strong but it's a it's beautiful to me because I love the earthiness of this bar you really get like the dirt and the earthiness with the patchouli to me although it's called simply patchouli you really get like an earthy like a damp earth with dirt and then the patchouli I like this I'm one of those people that like dirt scents I love strong outdoorsy scents I don't know they should that you know you would think they come off as dirty and they'll make your house smell dirty but I just enjoy them so I'm excited to have this the next one here is from the melted mousse this is frosty dreams lavender chamomile and spearmint and a beautiful like oh periwinkle look at that glitter the melted mousse I've bought from I want to say once um, but I haven't really melted her stuff to really know how it performs, but all the things I've gotten, the few things that I have gotten, I've enjoyed on cold, you know, her blends smell fantastic. I just haven't warmed them, which I need to do. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. So the spearmint is front runner for me and it's a nice blend with the, it's more of like a, an herbal lavender with the lavender chamomile. This is going to be a really pretty like bedroom or bathroom melt that is... Lavender, chamomile, and spearmint. Such a decent size. I could definitely get like four cups out of this. So I'm excited to warm that. Next I have here is from Rainbow Melt Winter. This is bay leaf, fresh pine, cinnamon, warm woods, and holiday fruit. Ooh, I'm excited to see how the pine and holiday fruit go together. I don't even think I know what bay leaf smells like, to be completely honest. I don't know if I've ever had that in blends. Oh my gosh, this is strong. Okay, so I'm definitely getting holiday fruit. It's almost like I'm getting a very tart cranberry with an orange. You're definitely getting cinnamon and a little bit of pine. This is nice. This kind of reminds me of Holly Jolly Cider that is available now in Scentsy with the bricks. Um, like their cider scent. This is what that reminds me of. So that's pretty. Super strong. Like I said, I've never had issues with Rainbow Melt's performance. It's just her business model that I'm not a fan of. So, I mean, I'm happy to get her stuff. So, thank you so much. Next, I have, oh my gosh, another second in spruce summer. How are you parting with this much second in spruce? Like, her stuff is amazing. Um, but this is cranberry frostbite, cranberry ginger ale, and a hint of winter woods. Again, how adorable her labels are. I can't. Oh my god, it looks like frost, like on your windshield or like ice. That's so cool. Ooh, that ginger ale. This is so authentic ginger ale to me. And I love cranberry ginger ale. Like whenever I'm not feeling well, I like to have cranberry ginger ale. As a kid, whenever I wasn't feeling well with like an upset stomach or anything, my dad would always get me like the flavored ginger ale. It's like the blackberry or the cranberry. Yeah. This is so good. The cranberry, it's like a juicy cranberry. It's not too much of a tart cranberry. So it pairs really well with this ginger ale. This is good. Ooh, I think I'm gonna melt this today. This is really nice. I can't believe you guys, this is insane. Like I feel like I already <laughs> went through a decent, like a good amount of like so much stuff. And look at this, Summer, are you out of your mind? <laughs> My God. Next here I have from Dessa's Homespun Scents. This is Christmas Tree Farm. So this is fresh forest of Christmas trees, pine, Fraser fir, balsam, evergreen, and birch. And it's in an adorable shape of a Christmas tree. And this just sounds like, again, everything I would love because I love all the tree and outdoorsy scents. How cute. This looks like it could be a little cookie. Ooh, this is pretty. Fraser fir, balsam, birch. Yes. If you are familiar with Teddy Bees' God's Woods, this is what this reminds me of. Very close. Very, very close. I almost want to say God's Woods has a little bit more of like a, almost like a smoky essence to it. I don't think there's smoke in there, but you could kind of get like a smoky essence from the tree. And I'm picking that up slightly here. But yes, this is very similar to God's Woods. Ooh, this is so good. I'm excited to... I'm excited to melt all this, so I need to stop saying that. But this is really nice. I can never get enough tree blends, you guys. Like, I can melt them all throughout the fall, winter, even into early spring. I just love them. 
Next here is the Melted Mousse. It's fall, y'all. Autumn flannel, leaves, and toasted marshmallow. Ooh. I wonder if this is her leaves oil, but this is coming off almost like a cider to me. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this smells like, like a cider with toasted marshmallows. I don't know what her autumn flannel is but I'm not getting any sort of masculine or cologne leaning type scent from this so it it's coming off like cider like apple cider with with toasted marshmallows oh this is good very strong too this is going to be really pretty in the fall time I know technically right now it's still considered fall but I'm kind of over my fall melting and I'm starting to move into more like holiday wintery bakery type scent so I'm going to hold on to this till next fall but this is going to be so good Next I have here is Lavender Sensual from Swanky. This is another really good, I don't know if this is a sample or what, but this is a really good size like scent shot. Definitely can get like four pieces out of this. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a very creamed out, warm and comforting lavender. Not herbal at all to me. Swanky has such a beautiful lavender. I have a couple of her lavender bakery blends. I just love how she does lavender so good beautiful creamy soft and warm lavender this is exactly what it's oh my god there's little chunks on the bottom wait a minute how cool is that this yeah this is a hefty sample if this is what it, if it is a sample this is really pretty Oof! i'm gonna put this in my bedroom i'm gonna put the ones aside that i want to melt today I'm so excited Next I have here from Dessa's, this is Catching Snowflakes, Balsam, Cinnamon, Clove, Cedarwood, Sweet Vanilla, and cr Sweet Vanilla Cream Frosting. Look at this label. Uh, are you kidding? Look at how cute that is. Oh my God. Is this an ornament shape? Oh, it's just like a little snowflake. Ooh, beautiful cinnamon in here. Cinnamon and clove. And I'm getting cedarwood and balsam. I'm not getting sweet vanilla cream frosting. It's probably just a, a blender in here. This is pretty. Very nice. This is reminiscent of, to me, Best Christmas from Bath and Body Works. Beautiful. And I love that fragrance. This is very, this is close to me. Good. Beautiful. Super strong. Dessa's. The few things that I've worn from Dessa's have all performed so well for me. So I can only imagine with the tree notes and the cinnamon in here, like this is going to be a boomer. Oh my gosh. Summer, you sent me so much Dessa's. Oh my God. She sent me so much of everything. My goodness. I don't know how you part with this much good stuff. This is Candy Cane Forest. This is Sweet Candy Canes. Christmas trees. I want to say summer trees. Sweet candy canes, Christmas trees, and vanilla bean Noel. It's an adorable little red Christmas tree. Ooh, this is pretty. The sweet candy canes, absolutely. And I actually pick up the vanilla in here. Christmas trees, I'm not getting too much of. But this is blended so well that I can get all three. Like, I'm getting a pinch of the Christmas tree, but... Mainly, I'm getting sweet candy canes with vanilla. This is nice. Sign me up. I will be melting this shortly, too. I want to melt all this today. I don't even have enough warmers to do all that. <laughs> but I'm going to put all this right in the forefront of where I pick out all my wax so I can start getting through some of this because there's so many good holiday blends in here. And you had me at Ho Ho Ho. This is apple cider donuts, caramel apples, and butterscotch bourbon. That sounds amazing. I don't think I've had anything from Dessa's with butterscotch bourbon um and this is just an adorable little santa claus type shape with all the elves and the gnomes i should say how cute oh that is delicious that butterscotch bourbon and the caramel apple this is like warm gooey bakery apple cider donuts you get a little bit but it's mainly the butterscotch bourbon with the caramel apples this is really nice this would be good fall or winter, so I'm looking forward to this one. I can't get over that label. Oh my God, it's the cutest thing ever. 
Next, I have something here from Southbound, which I haven't tried a lot of. So thank you so much, Summer. This is Charmed Cookies, rich vanilla sugar cookies, smoky woods, chamomile, cardamom, with a hint of leather and oak moss. I can't say that I've had anything like this. That sounds like a really good combination. The chamomile with the smoky woods, cardamom, vanilla, oh my God, lav smells, that sounds incredible. Ooh, look how fun that is. All that glitter and then the back is purple and the top is gray. Ooh. Wow, this is pretty. Definitely getting the smoky woods with the chamomile. A little bit, what I guess is the oak moss, because I'm getting a touch of earthiness. A little bit of cardamom. And then it has like a bakery base to it. So although there's like chamomile and woods and you get lavender and a little earthiness from the oak moss, you definitely like it's you can definitely pick up the bakery undertone in this this is really unique um, this is really cool i haven't heard of any blends that are like this so this sounds incredible that is charmed cookies if any of you have warmed this and you have thoughts on it let me know because that it that sounds so good next here is another rainbow melt this is frosty days peppermint candy cane and sweater weather I really like sweater weather, so I'm sure this is going to be beautiful. Ooh. Okay. I'm also, I'm getting like a spearmint type vibe in here. I wonder if Rainbow Melts is candy cane. Uh, not candy cane. I wonder if Rainbow Melts is sweater weather has um, spearmint in here, because I'm almost getting that. Or I wonder if it's the combination of the candy cane peppermint with sweater weather. But it is reading spearmint to me. It's good though. But then you get like the eucalyptus and the juniper from the sweater weather. This is pretty. This is like a nice, fresh, minty winter blend. I mean, honestly, you could melt this all year round. I guess I'm just associating it with winter because of the name and the shape. But it's just a pretty minty, fresh blend. Great for like a bedroom or bathroom. Yeah, looking forward to melting that one. I cannot with this, this is all that's in this box. Okay. Next I have, I see a couple of from of things in here from Salt Mountain Melt. So I'm gonna try and gather them so I could try and be somewhat organized, but no promises. So this is Salt Mountain Melt. Um, we were chatting back and forth and I know Summer loves Salt Mountain Melt so much. And she was asking if I've ever tried them. And I've gotten a couple of things here and there from D stashes that I've melted, but I've never actually bought from her. She's actually on my list to buy sometime in 2024 when I'm ready to start purchasing again, because right now I'm currently on a halt trying to get through wax. But she's a vendor that I've heard so many people, um, you know, love and talk about. So I'm excited to try some of these summer. Thank you so much. The first one here is Renegade. This is maraschino cherry, palo santo, and sweet bakery dough. Ooh, I don't think I've ha ever had anything with cherry and palo, so this is going to be interesting. Beautiful, like, sequin-looking glitter on here. Ooh, that bakery dough. Okay, this bakery dough automatically is making me think of Noel's Farm, his sugar cookie dough bread. This smells very similar to that. And surprisingly, to, in my experience with cherry being so strong in blends. I really don't pick much up in here. It's a bakery dough with Palo. A little bit more on the bottom with the cherry. Just a pinch though. I'm surprised. Because if I saw this on a list, I think I'd be scared to try it because I'm very hit or miss with cherry, but this is good. Like it's there, but just ever so slight. It might come out more on warm, but this is like a warm, toasty bakery. Ever so slight with the cherry, which I appreciate. So. I'm looking forward to trying this. Thank you, Summer. Oh my gosh. I don't know how you part with the Salt Mountain Melts. I don't know how you part with any of this, but especially Salt Mountain Melts because I know how much you love her stuff. Next one is Coven, which I know this is one that Summer loves so much. So thank you. Oh my gosh. Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. That sounds incredible. This is so good. Definitely get 
Marshmallow Fireside and Palo the most. And you do get like an extra sweetness. It is like, a, I picture like, I don't know if you're familiar with Entenmann's, like they have those um, mini donuts that are covered in the powdered sugar. That's what I'm getting with this, this scent. Like that sugary powdered sugar that's on the top of those donuts. This is really nice. Oh, just deep, smoky, but then you get the sweetness from that donut. Oh, this is so good. Delicious. Oh my goodness. The next one here is hot. I, I want to say it's called Haig. Haigi, Haig. I just go by Haig. This is Cashmere Cedar, Sugar Cookie, and Marshmallow Fireside. This is actually one that I have had in a D stash, and I really like this one. Her cashmere cedar is just beautiful. I don't discriminate against any cashmere cedar, but it's beautiful in this blend. It's the star of this blend. And then you get the bakery with the sugar cookie. And then when you warm this one up, the marshmallow fireside really comes out. This is so nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is Haig. Haigi, Haig. I'm going to call it Haig, whether you like it or not. So happy to have more of this one because I really enjoy it. And then the last one that I could see so far from Salt Mountain Melt is Vampire Blood. This is Bite Me, Blood Sugar, and Sour Patch Kids. Oh, I love Sour Patch Kids. It's like my one of my favorite candies. And I don't know if I have anything in wax that has that in it. So it's going to be fun. I don't know what Bite Me is. Hmm. Oh, that's Sour Patch Kids. Oh, it almost comes off like fizzy. Oh, this is fun. This is something totally out of my wheelhouse that, again, just like the uh, Renegade that I probably would have been scared to order because I wouldn't know. This would probably be something that would be like a wild card for me. Oh, this is good. It's going to be such a good summer blend. Sour Patch Kids, yes. I don't know what Bite Me is. You get a little bit of juiciness from, I guess, what is the Blood Orange? But that Sour Patch Kids is like the star of the show in here. And how cute are these little bat glitters on here? Her wax is super soft, which is nice because it's easy to cut. Oh, I really like this. I'm not a typical like fruity melter. I have to be in the mood, but this is like so fun for summertime. Or if even in the winter when you're just sick of melting all the trees and all the bakery and you just need something to like brighten your space up, this would be so fun. This just makes me smile when I smell it because it's, it's like, it is, it's fun. It's effervescent. It's like, it reminds me of being a kid. It just has that childlike scent to it. Oh, this is good. Vampire blood. Wow. So two that I would have been skeptical on ordering or they would have been considered my wild cards. I actually turned out to like, so that's super exciting. Next, I have here from Rainbow Melt this is Sweet Potato Heaven. This is Sweet Potatoes, Brown Sugar Pecan, Gooey Marshmallow, and Warm Spices. And how cute in this little owl shape. Let's see. Ooh, this is like a really nice Thanksgiving melt. Definitely got the sweet, what would I think would be the Sweet Potatoes. I don't think I've ever had a Sweet Potato note in my wax, but that's kind of what I'm getting from this first and foremost. Definitely little pecans and brown sugar. Not really getting marshmallow, but I think that's just blending them all together. This smells like those, I don't necessarily pick up the marshmallow, but I'm, it's, this is giving me like candied yams vibes. Oh, this smells like I could eat this owl. It smells so good. I can't wait. I'm going to hang on to this, I think, until next Thanksgiving and then enjoy this then. This is so good. Okay, you guys. I've made a dent in this box, but it still has so much in here. Oh, I've never tried Destination Wax. This is black chamomile. Chamomile, tonka bean, wild lily, and bergamot. Bath and Body Works type. Summer! I remember we were talking one time and I we were saying how we both love the black chamomile candle from Bath and Body Works. And then you send me this. How do you not want to hang on to this? Oh my God. Yes, this is spot on. So Bath and Body Works doesn't come out with this candle often. 
in my past experience of shopping with them it's usually one that's released on like candle day or semi-annual sale like special occasions they'll release it but they don't have it in their like candle lineup so to speak like it's not readily available all the time it's one that they release like once or twice a year and I actually haven't seen it released at all this year so I do have two candles of it that I am like so which sounds so stupid but I'm so like hesitant to burn them because I don't want to run out but this is beautiful now that I know I can get this from Destination Wax I might as well just burn my candles Oh my god, this is so relaxing. This is like smoky. There is no smoke in the notes, but it's like a smoky, creamy ca um, chamomile. It's beautiful. It's so relaxing. I've never tried Destination Wax, so I'm excited to see how this performs for me. And if this performs well, I'm going to stock up next time she has this available. It's beautiful. So that's black chamomile. Next I have here is Nutflix and Chill. This looks like, I think this, Oh yes, Rose Girls. Ice Vanilla Woods, Pine and Vanilla. How cute is this? The squirrel with the nut. Ooh, I'm getting like a creamy woodsy type blend. I'm definitely getting the bur like a bergamot type of smell in here, which may be just like the Ice Vanilla Woods with the addition of the pine beautiful beautiful fresh crisp tree blend and I do pick up a little bit of the vanilla this is pretty yes I'm looking forward to warming this again just another one of those kinds of staple wintry scents that I love to have in my collection anything tree and outdoorsy I can never get enough of it so that is Nutflix and chill Next, I have here from Rainbow Melt. This is Snow Clouds. This is Sweet Snow and White Clouds. Vanilla Ice Cream and Fluffy Laundry. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Again, those cute little pretzel twist type shapes. Ooh, this is different than what I was thinking. You definitely, it comes off like a, like you could smell the coolness of the vanilla ice cream. And you get like a soft, um... It is, I guess you can consider it laundry, but it's like a soft, fresh, clean set in the background. But if I didn't know that this was laundry, I wouldn't know what to call it. But it's pretty. It's like vanilla ice cream, but then it has like a, cl a clean scent to it. I've never had anything like this. Wow, this is unique. I like this one. I'm excited to melt this in my bedroom. I think it'll make it smell cozy, but clean at the same time. So that's snow clouds. Oh my god, I'm already at 32 minutes. Let's pick up the pace. The next one is from Melted Mousse Straight Out of Coffin. <laughs> this is vanilla sandalwood, cashmere cedar, and Palo Santo. Again with the cashmere cedar. It's gonna be beautiful. Ooh, this is pretty. The combination of the sandal with the cashmere cedar here. Beautiful. Oh, I'm looking forward to melting this one. So that's from the Melted Mousse. Next, I have Rainbow Melt here, another black chamomile, coconut water, chamomile, and tea leaves, wild lily, and tonka beans. Okay, I definitely like Destination Wax's uh, black chamomile better. This is good, but this leans a little bit more soapy to me. So it's definitely the same essence, but there's something in here. I don't know if it's the tonka bean or the, it might be the coconut water, actually. That's making it lean a little bit more of like a soapy black chamomile, which I don't mind. It's still very pretty, but I definitely like Destination Waxes better. So this is pretty. I'm excited to warm this one. What's this? Melted Confetti Waxery. Huh, I never tried them. This is Cozy Corduroy. Vanilla Bean, Almond, Caramel, Clove, Leather, Smoky Woods, and Cashmere. Ooh, this sounds good. How cute is that label? And then these almost look like a peppermint bark. Ooh, I'm getting like a really strong smoky note. Yes. What is that? The smoky woods with the leather. You do get a little bit of clove. I'm not getting any almond or caramel or vanilla. Cashmere a little bit. But this is like hit you in the face with the smoky woods and the leather. This is pretty, this is different from any smoky like woods that I've tried. 
at least on cold. Ooh, that's like a thick, dense, smoky scent, but you get the essence of the trees, you get the leather, and then you get like the, the clove in there. This is pretty. This smells like if you're, say you're baking Christmas cookies, you have your window open for whatever reason in the wintertime, and your, your neighbor's having like a really like big bonfire, like they have a big fire going outside and you get the smell of that coming in through your window. That's, oh my God, this is pretty, very cozy. This is gonna be a beautiful bedroom or like living room melt. I need to look into this vendor, Melted Confetti. Thank you, Summer. I love them getting to try all new vendors that I've never tried before. Next one from Melted Confetti is Vanilla Cream and Bourbon. Ooh, Sweet Vanilla Cream and Dash of Kentucky Bourbon. Ooh, this is nice. A little bit softer than what I would have thought with the Kentucky bourbon, but I guess because it's a dash of Kentucky bourbon, you are mainly getting the sweet vanilla cream. It's almost coming off like a sweetened, like, it's like a, it's like vanilla extract with a little bit of Kentucky bourbon. This is pretty. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that rainbow sticker on the back of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look more into this vendor because her packaging is beautiful. These two blends are great. So I'm going to have to look into them. This is from Lavender and Speckles. This is Cracklin' Birch and Buttercream. Cracklin' Birch and Vanilla Buttercream. Ooh, yes. Her Cracklin' Birch oil is so strong. Like another scent that's like nose clearing strong sorry I keep messing with my hair it's annoying me and um I like that the buttercream in here you can detect it not too much it's really just keeping the crackling birch from being too sharp this is pretty I've had um lavender and speckles is crackling pecan waffles so it was crackling birch or pumpkin pecan waffles but I like this with the buttercream this is pretty it's gonna be super strong like this is making my eyes water how strong it is but it's really nice next i have here oh my god did she send me two of these summer <laughs> i guess she i guess she didn't like this one this is another of the netflix and chill which i smelled earlier it's the ice vanilla woods with the pine and vanilla so thank you so much this is, um, I'm assuming it's from Super Tarts. This is Morning wa Oh, yeah, it says Super Tarts on it. Brisk Air, Morning Dew, Fall Leaves, Warm Amber, and Dirt. I actually have a couple of clamshells of this and really like it. I love the dirt in this blend. Yes, this is like a, such a good dirt scent, but you get the Morning Dew, you get the Brisk Air, you get a little bit of amber. This is really nice. It does come across a little bit soapy on cold until you warm it and then all those outdoorsy earthy notes come alive. So this is Morning Walk. This was also before she switched her name. This isn't focusing. Before she switched her names, this was Pet Cemetery, And, but this is a really good one. Next I have here from Knowles Farm Scents. This looks like a sample in Palo Santo. So Amber, Palo Santo, Wood, and Musk. I like any Palo. His is definitely more, a little bit more sharp and woodsy and gives more of like a, a manly or masculine undertone, which I like that. I like all Palos, but his is definitely different from any other vendor's Palos. Like um, a lot of other vendors say like Sassy Girl Aroma or Teddy Bee's an L3 like theirs is a little bit more smooth and creamy where his is like a little bit more earthy and masculine so yeah this is really nice I like his Palo I've never had it on its own but now like having this you can get like the true essence of what his Palo really is so that is beautiful okay a couple more here this is from Glitterati I've never tried Glitterati it's called Christmas Woods Ooh, I'm getting like a pine, juniper, maybe a little bit of cranberry. Super strong. I've heard Glitterati's wax performs really well, so I'm excited to try this out. That's Christmas Woods. Next, I have here from Scentsy. This is Frosted Cedar. I don't believe I've tried this one. This is actually one I want to try the next time I place an order. I just haven't yet. 
Oh, I'm getting like a sweet fruit mainly. Is this the one that has apple in it? I'm almost getting like a like a soft tree note, but like a juicy fruit. It smells like an apple. Yeah, this is pretty. Definitely more fruity. If this is the blend I'm thinking of that has the apple with the tree, it's definitely leaning more fruity than I thought. So I'll have to warm this one to see what I think. It's pretty though. But the fruit in here smells a little artificial, so I'm hoping once it warms up, it'll you know come more alive with the tree notes that are in here it's definitely pretty but I think I won't get a true read on it until I melt it which happens with a lot of Scentsy's bars so yes yeah, it's pretty thank you Summer because I was gonna buy this one so now I could test it out and see this I have here is from L3 this is vanilla lace and today is October 3rd I love L3 her wax performs amazing for me and I love today's October 3rd I don't think I've ever had it with vanilla lace so good so this is like today's October 3rd which is like Palo Santo sugar cookies and marshmallows and then you add the extra vanilla with the vanilla lace so nice two more here are you kidding me summer you gave me a whole bag of Thanksgiving stretchy pants from second and spruce I just said in my empties how much I loved this scent and I got um I actually have to record my second and spruce RTS haul but I got some more of this and then she sent me a whole bakery bag of it summer thank you oh my god this is amazing I just love that you get everything in here you get the apple pie spice you get the pumpkin pie you get the caramel and then on warm it's just like decadent Thanksgiving bakery it's just delicious the name on this always makes me laugh I don't even know if I sh did I show you this I think so Thanksgiving stretchy pants it's like the perfect name for this and that adorable turkey I can't stand it so cute but this is amazing if you like those full heavy spice bakeries definitely give thanksgiving stretchy pants a try next time she offers it <laughs> and the last thing in here i have is from teddy b's this is catacomb of the witch summer thank you we were chatting back and forth and i actually posted like on one of the d-stitch groups that i was looking for more of the catacomb of the witch because um i ordered a loaf of it in the RTS and then you know just with Tiffany being so busy mine was one of the last orders to be packed and shipped so by the time she was packing my order she was out of the catacomb of the witch that I ordered in the loaf so she refunded me so Ch Summer and I were chatting and she must have seen my post in one of the d-stash groups and she was like oh I have some like I'll put it aside for you I'm like don't worry like I bought from somebody else I got some but you sent it to me anyway Summer thank you I absolutely, this is one of my favorite scents from the past pre-order that just um, took place. This is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Blitz, and Vanilla Woods. This is so good. I love her plum oils. You definitely get the Black Amber. You get a little smokiness in the bonfire, and you get those woodsy tree notes from the Vanilla Woods. It's like you can get all the notes in here, and they're just blended so beautifully. But the star of this is her juicy plum because I love her plum oils. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy to have more this summer. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. I hope you have some for yourself and that you didn't send me your only souffle because if you did, I'm sending this right back to you because you need to experience how beautiful this is. It's just so, so good. Like you need to warm this and see how beautiful it is. This is Catacomb of the Witch. You guys, that is everything. I really wanted to try and make this video not super long. I mean, we're at like 44 minutes, so not horrible. But with all this stuff, like amazing stuff that she sent me, there was just no way for me to like smell it all for the first time and appreciate it without having a good size video. So sorry to keep you here for a good chunk of time. But <laughs> Summer, I can never say thank you enough. I really appreciate how just how good of a friend you have been you're always so generous you're thoughtful you're just so much fun to talk to we always laugh going back and forth like she summer is just the best like I said if you're watching me I'm I'm positive you know who summer is I would be astounded if you know who I am in my small channel and you haven't watched summer but either way I will link her down below definitely check her out if you have not already and this is amazing. I can't wait to start melting all of this, especially the new to me vendors that I haven't tried before. I'm really excited. So thank you again so much. And thank you all so much for hanging out with me and watching. I hope you're all doing well. 
Take care, stay safe, and I'm sure we'll be chatting in the comments. Bye.